With his manager, Pogba sent a message to Sir Jim Ratcliffe, boss, will you take me too? Manchester United management has been dealing with takeovers for a long time. Qatari billionaire Sheik Jassim and Sir Jim Ratcliffe appear to be the biggest duos looking to buy the club. It is said that there are many players who want to return to the club because of Avram Blazer's departure, one of them is Paul Pogba. Leaving Manchester United at the beginning of the season and signing for Juventus, Pogba's career did not go as he wanted. Pogba, who has been injured for a long time, wants to leave Juventus and return to Manchester. Italian media also say that Juventus want to send Pogba for free. This being the case, Pogba is said to have sent a message to one of the possible bosses, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, to return to his old team Manchester United for free. According to the Sun newspaper, Pogba's manager Rafaela Pimenta is said to have met with Sir Jim Ratcliffe and said, if you want to buy the club, Pogba wants to come back, he will be proud to work with you. It is unknown how Sir Jim responded to Pogba's offer. Of course, at the moment it is unknown who will buy the club, but it is clear that Pogba wants to return to the team. So what's your opinion on this? Would you like Pogba to return for free? Manchester United following Roma and Juventus target Davide Fratisi. According to the news of Gazzetta dello Sport, Manchester United are closely following Davide Fratisi, who is also on the radar of Roma and Juventus. The Italian international currently plays for Sassuolo in Serie A, but debuted this summer to secure a bigger fight during the transfer window. Roma and Juventus have already expressed interest in signing him, and Juventus has reportedly contacted his manager and Sassuolo. However, they are not alone in the duo race, Gazzetta dello Sport claims United are also interested and have been following him closely for some time. Back in November last year, it was reported that United were keeping tabs on the 23-year-old and he could be prized away for €30 million Euros from Sassuolo. United did not make an approach in January and it remains to be seen if they will make a real effort to sign at the end of the season. In the current season, Fratisi has had a pass accuracy of just 78% but he has caught the eye with his offensive and defensive contributions for his club. His statistics are quite good for a central midfielder but manager Eric Ten Hag may prefer a new signing, who could provide more control in the centre of the park. Marcus Rashford is on a mission, Robin Van Persie. Former Manchester United player Robin Van Persie believes Marcus Rashford took the shape of his life by emphasizing the importance of his relationship with Bruno Fernandes and Eric Ten Hag. The homegrown Old Trafford star has enjoyed an outrageous 2022-23 campaign, topping the club's scoring charts with 27 goals in all competitions, making this his best-ever individual season. Rashford and Fernandez have developed an almost telepathic on-field understanding, providing the backbone for the Red Devils' pursuit of three major titles. Van Persie shared the view that there was a special bond between the two lead actors, insisting it would help the England national team get better. Despite failing to find the net in his last two league appearances, the 25-year-old received a call from England manager Gareth Southgate last week but had to withdraw due to injury. The quicksilver forward has been essential to Ten Hag's bid to help the club secure a top-four finish for the first time since 2021, and Van Persie believes the relationship between the two has its merits for Rashford's mercurial form. Manchester United must enter race to sign Antonio Silva amid interest from three European clubs. Manchester United must race to sign Benfica defender Antonio Silva this summer amid growing interest from elite European clubs. The 19-year-old made his Benfica debut in September last year, but has already become a key player for them with a few standout performances. Last month, it was reported that Real Madrid was following him closely, now there is more interest from Borussia Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain. We think United should go after the Portuguese wonder boy before the summer. The teenager has been brilliant at the heart of the defence for Benfica this season, he has completed a stunning 92% passes per game with four long balls. At just 19, the Portuguese has matured enough and certainly has the potential to become a top-notch defender in the next few seasons. United currently have Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez as the regular centre-backs, 
but the former has been injury-prone throughout his long career. This could force United to invest in the department and Silva would be a brilliant marquee addition. Victor Lindelof casts doubt on his Manchester United future. Manchester United defender Victor Lindelof has cast doubt on his long-term future at Old Trafford amid a tough season under Eric Ten Hag. After slipping down the pecking order under the Dutch manager, the Sweden international could leave Manchester after six years to secure regular first-team action. The 28-year-old, who is currently on international duty for Jana Andersson's team, admitted he would have to assess his future at Manchester United at the end of the season, leaving the door open for a potential exit. Romano's report also states Ten Hag himself vetoed Lindelof's departure during the January transfer window, as Atletico Madrid and Inter Milan tried to price the suite away from the theatre of dreams. The former Benfica centre-back was one of Manchester United's most stable players for years after signing Lisbon to the Premier League in 2017. However, he has lost his starting berth this season to Ten Hag's trusted ally Lisandro Martinez, who followed in the footsteps of his manager last summer, leaving Ajax to link up with the Red Devils. Desperate to get his career back on track and a steady move in the first team, the Swede will reconsider his options at the end of the season unless he's destined for a dramatic U-turn after the international hiatus in March. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is close to achieving first promise to supporters. The team has been on quite the journey since that first win of the season and the glimmers of Ten Hag's philosophy have become increasingly sustained, as the style on the pitch has progressed to the end goal with each month. The arrival of Case Miro, who remains the world's best defensive midfielder, has made attacking football easier to play, however, whilst the style has undoubtedly progressed, there is still room for improvement against elite sides. With a few more quality signings in the summer, it seems only a matter of time before Ten Hag achieves his goal. How Blazers blew up Mourinho's plan to bring Van Dijk to Manchester United According to popular presenter Chris Kamara, Manchester United could have pipped arch-rivals Liverpool to Virgil van Dijk's signature during Jose Mourinho's tenure. Instead of funding Mourinho to finance Van Dijk's arrival, United owners vetoed a proposal to break the bank to get Portugal's former Southampton man. One of the guests on the show, Troy Deeney, loved what Kamara had to say as he had a feeling United fans would go mad once they found out about the Glazers' decision to deny Mourinho the privilege of signing Van Dijk. Manchester United were among potential candidates to take on Van Dijk before raiding Liverpool in January 2017 and signing the deal with Southampton.